What is up everybody? Welcome back to Cloud9 Gaming where today, we are checking out Last Hope Bunker Zombie Survival. We did receive this review copy free from the developer art doc via key mailer, but we are under no obligation to state anything or give a biased opinion. We are not being paid, and this is truly how we feel about this game. In this game you wake up in a bunker. The earth became a battlefield. Dangerous creatures are at every turn. Your task is to find your family and try to survive in this post-apocalypse. The bunker is your fortress. The story here isn't bad and pretty much your typical zombie outbreak game. At the epicenter of endless chaos, one brave doctor tries to invent a cure for this plague. The main character Turner, despite all risks and personal psychological traumas, decides to stand by the doctor's side. After all, his therapist has long been devoured to the bones. But one catastrophic mistake causes the spread of the mutated strain. Could it get any worse, you might ask? Oh, it definitely could. The game page states, what will you face on the path to finding and rescuing your family? Grab a notebook and pen. Let's break it down. 1. Clear your path from zombie hordes. Beware of their sharp claws and teeth. Remember, the enemies are quite fast and agile. 2. Destroy clusters of zombie habitats. Blow up nests so zombies won't reproduce anymore. Yes, good old outposts. Classic. 3. Explore the post-apocalyptic world, uncovering the secrets of this catastrophe. Trust me, they can shock even the most seasoned genre fans. The scope is truly massive. 4. Find survivors' diaries. Each story is tragic and deeply personal. You'll want to pat the author's shoulder and give a hug. 5. Save your ammo. It's scarce, expectedly. And you'll need it. Well, it's survival. 6. Activate communication towers. There are still technologies from the peaceful past life. Here you should look out the window and enjoy the peaceful life. 7. Stealth for open combat. It's up to you. Sneak past zombies or engage in good old-fashioned brawl. 8. Search abandoned houses and deserted cars. Find filters, ammo, medical kits. The found items will be useful for crafting. 9. Scrutinize every stone, buddy. A well-thought-out crafting system allows you to collect items from loot that will help you go further. 10. Find hidden references to the modern world. Yes, they're there. In the early game, we tried to conserve our ammo until we were able to unlock the ability to craft more. You can also use a stealth crouch to sneak around a little more quiet. Remember, as you get further in the game, the more noise. You make the more zombies head your way. We were not expecting this game to be as fun as it is, but I am glad we gave this one a chance. But yeah, guys, there is a lot to like about this game. And at such a great price, I think this is an easy recommendation. It is an easy game to get into and take out hordes of zombies. It is also light on the achievements difficulty for those who like to 100% games. The graphics are nice, and I also like the art style. The combat loop can get a little repetitive at times, but that is to be expected in a top-down shooter. After spending a few hours on the game, my early score is 8 out of 10, which is really good guys. I think there is some fun to be had here, and this is an under the radar title worth checking out. To come out of an indie studio this game is solid, but that's just our opinion. Let us know in the comments if you will be checking this one out. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next time.